Yo right, guys, it's Brummy Joe here, and I'm here with a little experiment. Um, I've been looking at some of Rich Lee's videos, who I will link down in the description. He does some FIFA experiments, and me being a massive Birmingham fan, with a lot of change going on in the club right now, I thought I could make one related to us. Now, with Harry Redknapp signing permanently for the next season, there's been a lot of jokes and rumours going around about him getting the old boys back together. The likes of Jermaine Defoe, which is a reach obviously, but Nico Cranchar is very real. I thought it would be fun if we could try and get some of the old boys back together and sim a season just to see how we do. And that's exactly what we're going to do right here. So without further ado, let's get on with it and we'll see how we get on. Yeah, that looks close enough to Harry for me. Okay, so this is the team that's uh, set up. We've got Crouch and Defoe up front, of course, with Cranchar just behind him. I've got Gardner playing CDM because I think he's got to play. Um, and I've got M Magoma and Fry on the wings. I've brought in uh, Benoit Asuakoto at left back, one of the old school guys. Maybe I'll bring in a defender in the uh, transfer window. But that is the current squad we've got. <laughs> Not impressive already. cranchell has been here for about a week and he's already injured. He's got a bruised elbow and he's going to be out for five days. What a sick note. Let's hope he's not uh, carrying many injuries throughout the season. That is the one thing with them. With them being older players, do they risk injury more? Will we be able to keep them running throughout the season? Oh my god. Nico Cranchard is already telling me he's jaded. It's only July. Alright, he's already been injured. And now he's saying he feels tired. I'm not sure if he's got the desire needed to take Birmingham City back to the Premier League. There's only one thing to do in this scenario. Put him on an intense training session. Okay, so we've put Cranchard on quite a bit of training. Let's see how he does. Is he too tired for this? But yeah, he's done alright to be fair to him. Give him a pat on the back. But I'm not resting yet. And Krauts has already said he's retiring. This is great news. <laughs> we've got a team full of old people. And Defoe is also retiring at the end of his contract. Wow. So the season begins with a loss. Do we need to sign another old Redknapp player? I think we do. Let's inquire about Rob Green. Eunice Cabal. Another former player of Redknapp's. Nadi Manua has another one. Robbie Keane again. Next up we've got Cardiff in the EFL Cup. I wonder if we can do any better against these. And we won. 5-4 on penalties. I'll take that. And it's Ben Warasuakato. With the two goals. I just don't think Cranchar is working hard enough in this training. And we've started off the season with another loss. This is not looking good to be fair. I mean we want to get promoted. And I was thinking automatics. But this is not how it goes. And to make it worse. Asuakoto gets a red card. We need to fix up quickly. So we've offered Anua a contract. They accepted 4.5 and million. And Robbie Keane is happy with my offer. So let's accept him. And put him straight in the squad. Because we really need to sort this out. I'm benching Crouch. And we're going to have Robbie Keane and Jermaine Defoe up top. Our strike force has a combined age of 69. Make of that what you will. And if we can't beat Wigan with Robbie Keane, I don't know what we're going to do. Can he score on his debut? That is the question. Well, he didn't, but we won, which is the main thing. Well, it's the actual Blues players scoring. The Red Nap Old Boys are not looking good so far, I must say. Nadia Manua has accepted the contract. So we've got, you know, we've got a few old boys now. We've got Suikoto, Anua, Cranchar, Keane, Defoe and Crouchy. They need to get us promoted. We can't be doing a Gianfranco Zola. And that is not good news. Cranchar's injured. What a surprise. And we're knocked out of the EFL Cup by Ipswich. Two days. It's another bruised elbow. Mate, sort your elbow out. Right, so after a patchy, rough start, at the 10 game mark, we're currently sitting 9th in the table with 15 points. So we're only 3 points outside the playoffs. Let's have a look at the goal scorers. So Robbie Keane is sitting 11th in the top scorer with 4 goals. Could prove vital that signing because Defoe and Crouch don't seem to be getting any goals. I find it hard to believe Defoe won't be able to score in the championship to be fair. There we go, Robbie Keane with another goal and a Suikoto and Nico Cranchar. Well, there you go, that's more like it. The Red Nap boys coming together to beat Blackburn. Right, so after 14 games, we've got a crunch game against our local rivals, Aston Villa, who are currently two places above us. 2-2, two -two. it's better than a loss, I'll take that. Right, so 20 games gone, we're currently sitting 6th in the table, 34 points, and we are 8 points off the automatic places. It is still possible, and that's what the board want us to do. 
Right, so it is a new year and we are currently sitting third in the table. Things are looking quite nice for Birmingham City currently. We've got a firm place currently in the top six. But can we push to get that automatic place? Let's check how many goals have been scored. Decent return on goals from Robbie Keane. Ten goals so far. Only three off uh, Brady for Norwich. So Keane and Defoe have got 17 goals between them. That's not too bad to be fair. We've got another chance in the FA Cup anyway. So let's see if we can get a chance at a trophy this season. Yes, we do. And Defoe scores two goals for us. Hopefully Defoe's found his goal scoring touch. Let's take a quick look at our squad report. Suakoto is still a 73, which is pretty decent. Nader Manua, he's only 30 years old, so he shouldn't be going down too quickly. Uh, Crenshaw's gone down one overall. Defoe's gone down two overall. Interesting. Robbie Keane's gone down by one overall. Crouch has gone down by two overall as well. This is a rapidly aging squad, to be fair. But I think they can do the job. They've got one season in them. And that is it. The one season wonders. We either go up or we go bust. Okay, we've got a pretty massive game against Everton in the FA Cup coming up. Could we pull off a shock surprise victory? I would like it if we could stay in the cup to be fair. And we've taken it to a replay. I'll take that. Okay, we got knocked out in the second leg to Everton. We just weren't good enough. But now we only have one focus. And that is getting promoted. Let's have another look at the table and after 32 games we are currently sitting third looking like we're guaranteeing ourselves a playoff spot but we are six points off Aston Villa. Automatic promotion is going to be tough to be fair. So Robbie Keane's had quite an impressive season getting 16 goals for us. We didn't even bring him in originally but I think it's very good we did. Further down the table is Defoe on nine goals. Also fairly impressive but I thought he would do a lot better. I thought he'd be our 20 goal a season player. Another two goals for Keane at Wigan. Second derby against Villa. We can't catch them now, but it'd be decent to just beat them. But we can't do it. And typical, Garner gets sent off. In the final game of the season, we draw 2-2. Robbie Keane getting another two goals. He's got to be up there with uh, the golden boot. And that draw secured our playoff spot. We've got Forrest in the semi-finals. And we need to get promoted. So Keane actually got the golden boot in the championship, which is quite decent for a player we signed for about two and a half million. Also, it looks like Will Grigg was actually on fire. 15 goals for Wigan. That is not too shabby at all. Defoe down there with 12 goals as well. Not too bad, but I did expect better from him, to be fair. Nader Manua got four goals. Suakoto got 13 goals altogether, which is pretty good for a left back. Nico Cranchar scored 6, which is average. Jermaine Defoe got 15 in all competitions. But with 23 goals in all competition, Robbie Keane has won the award for me. Well done, Robbie Keane. But it's not over yet. We still have to win the playoffs. Right, so we've got the first leg of the playoff semi-final now. I'm actually quite nervous for it. And we actually won it. We've taken a 1-0 lead into the second leg. And that's away from home as well, so fair play. We've got a 1-0 advantage going into the home leg. I think we can make it into the final. Okay, I'm not going to actually skip this one. Okay, it's one all on aggregate now. This is scary. Come on, Blues. Score a goal. It's one. Okay, that's, that's it. We've taken a quick two-goal advantage there. Three. That's it. That's surely it. We've got to be in the final now. We've got three-goal advantage. Oh, they've pulled one back late, but that is too late, unfortunately. We are in the final. Okay, so Red Knapp's army are one game away from promotion. Right, we face Norwich in the playoff final. Cranchar, who else but Cranchar? And, oh, I thought that was us. Suakoto. Okay, hold on. Hold on, this is going too fast for me. 2-1, hold it. Hold on to it, we are so close to promotion. 3-1, we've done it. We've done it. I can't believe it. It was tight. It was close. It was a roller coaster season. But Harry Redknapp's players have got Birmingham City promoted. Robbie Keane, 22 goals. What a player. Sign him up. He's underrated. So we finished fourth overall in the league, but we won the playoffs, which is the most important thing. Okay. Given that I ignored every single objective they set out for me, they were quite happy that I got Birmingham City promoted. <laughs> so it looks like by the skin of my teeth I've got my job still but that's it I asked can Harry Redknapp's old boys 
get Birmingham back into the Premier League. And it was tight, but we did it. So yeah, like if you enjoyed this experiment, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you next time.